I remember how clearly that positive impact just, just hit me. That's what you're supposed to do. This vision is much bigger than I am. But I have told God with my life that wherever you lead me, I'll follow. I remember as God began to open the doors for us to go to Honduras and work in the ministry there, I really didn't know where I fit. But as we arrived in Honduras in January 2005, God began to open doors and began to lead us into working with the National Church, working with the, the medical ministry and the radio station there in San Luis. And each ministry that we have there, I have been asking God, how can we make this ministry self-sustained? How can we make it self-supporting? That opened the doors for many small businesses to open, to give work to local people, to provide income for their families. But then I began to look at the clinic and I began to say, how can we, how can we possibly help the clinic to become self-sustained? There are many poor people in San Luis that really need help that cannot afford a lot of medical care. About three years ago, I began to ask the Lord, Lord, what else do you have for the clinic? There, there needs to be another step. How can we move to the next step? What would you have? And at that point, uh, a doctor friend now uh, from Cleveland, Tennessee came into our clinic. He and his wife had adopted a set of triplets and in looking for their family found that they were from the San Luis area. And I remember as I received the telephone call, I was in the United States and they were there in our clinic. They asked, would we be interested in doing surgeries in the future? And I remember how clearly that, that positive impact just, just hit me, that's what you're supposed to do. And so God began to open doors, moving in that direction. I met with Dr. Coleman, sat down and began to visit, and we decided to try some surgeries in San Luis, some outpatient surgeries, hernias, stuff like that. And the need that was there in that community for stuff like that was absolutely huge. It also provided some form of income to help balance out some of what we have in the clinic because many times in the clinic itself we have emergencies. Sometimes there are people that cannot afford to pay for that. One helps balance out the other because when someone comes in for surgery, it's something that's planned. Now the costs are very insignificant, but yet they still help pay the bills and pay the, the nurses and stuff that work there in the clinic. Many of you know my excitement about Honduras. I, I love San Luis. I love the ministry that we have there. I'm passionate about it. I want to see it go forward. I want to see it self-sustained. I want to see it support itself. Um, and uh, that has been my passion through what we have been working through. It's been amazing to see how God has opened those doors one after another for us to go back. The other things that are amazing is how this has all come together. Our surgery center has been built. As we begin to build it, some of the supporters that, that helped build the surgery center begin to ask, what about a dental area? Where can we see dental patients? And okay, so if we do eye surgeries in San Luis, do you have a place that we can see the patients afterwards? Can we offer them glasses? Can we? There were a lot of questions that were there, and I realized that we not only needed the surgery center, but we also needed a medical center that could fill another need that is there in San Luis. There are doctors in San Luis, many of them general medicine doctors. We lack a lot of specialties in San Luis. And so this began the wheel to turn in in my brain of, of how we could change that. And so we started a second building that now we, we know is gonna house a, a dental, dental center. It's gonna house a laboratory. We're gonna have an eye care center. We're gonna have two offices where doctors can work out. We're gonna have a conference room. And my dream with this is not just to bring people from the United States to San Luis to serve, but to meet doctors and uh, specialists in Honduras and invite them to come to San Luis and meet the needs of their own people, whether they come once a month or twice a month to have pediatricians and OBGYN doctors and different people that can come and meet the needs of the people there in San Luis so that they don't have to travel to the city. This vision is much bigger than I am. I have really no experience, no background 
and doing this kind of thing. But I have told God with my life that wherever you lead me, I'll follow. He's opened many doors that I had to walk by faith. I had to trust Him with what He was leading me to do. This is another area as we pack up our family here in the United States. We have five boys. It's a big thing to pack up a family of seven and make a move like this. Packing has not been a fun thing, but we're trusting God to open the doors before us, to lead us in the path that He would want for us to go. My favorite scripture has always been and still is, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy path. And I trust very much that He is directing our path. I trust that He is going to lead us in the path that He wants us to go. That He'll lead me to the people that we need to build relationships with to come to San Luis and serve people there. Not only on the humanitarian side do we want to help people, but the joy of sitting down beside someone that is there to have surgery or there to have their baby or there in an emergency and share the gospel with those people. God opens doors wide open for us to be able to share the love of Christ. And uh, man, what a blessing it's been to sit down by the bed and, and visit with those people. Jesus many times when he had a crowd, he would feed the people before he would minister to them. And I believe meeting the needs of the people and then share the gospel, God uses that to have the message of salvation spread to many people in, in many countries.